Would you pay over seven pounds for a pint? Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Holly Shields for Calcai Media. You may have noticed beer prices in the UK on the rise recently. So what's driving this increase and which alcoholic beverage stocks can you cash in on amidst it all? Firstly, hospitality has been one of the worst hit sectors in the last two years thanks to pandemic-induced HGV driver shortages, supply chain issues, shortages of carbon dioxide and as well as that higher raw mineral prices. But despite this, the sector has grown by around 10,000 businesses since March 2019. Missing out on this boom, however, was the alcohol industry, as the number of bars, pubs and clubs declined all over the UK. It's been predicted that the country could be left with only 5,000 or fewer nightclubs in operation within the next few quarters. But not all of this is the result of the pandemic. The declining trend started in 2010 when there were around 10,000 registered clubs. By 2015, that number had fallen to just 8,300. And then at the moment, there are around 6,900 nightclubs. Recently, UK pub bosses have warned that the cost of beer is set to rise by 50 pence as sales are showing a downtrend. But in contrast, the cost of business are rising. The worst rise in prices will be seen in London as pub inflation has now surged by 10%, which will of course increase the prices by 40 to 50 pence. However, some pubs in London have already increased the prices to over six pounds. According to British Beer and Palm Association, beer lovers pay an average price of £4.07 in the UK, while London is paying an average of £4.84. In order to contain the price surges, hospitality operators are urging for a permanent reduction in value-added tax to remain at 12.5% ahead of a rise of over 20% in the spring. But it's not all bad news for LSE investors as there's now plenty of opportunity to capitalize on the industry with a few FTSE listed alcoholic beverage stocks. The first one to keep on your radar is CNC Group, which manufactures and distributes beer, wine and spirits in the UK, Ireland and other European countries. The market cap of the FTSE 250 listed company stands at £891 million and has given a negative return of about 4.52% to its shareholders in the last year. Next is Diego, the world's largest producer of spirits and beers selling beverages under various household brand names. The market cap of the FTSE 100 listed company stands at 84 billion pounds and has given a positive return of approximately 25.7% to its shareholders in the last year. And last on our list is Artisanal Spirits Company, which owns the leading curator and provider of premium single cask Scotch malt whiskey for sale, the Scotch malt whiskey. The market cap of the AIM listed company stands at £66.13 million and has given a positive return of 2.61% to its shareholders in the last year. And that concludes our list. Now that you're up to speed, check out some of our other videos to stay up to date. I'm Holly Schultz for Calcine Media.